you'll see in this film um, an expose of the way our country went to war um, in Iraq, uh, thanks to hundreds and hundreds of hours of C-SPAN footage of the debate leading up to the war, um, which was gone through with a fine-tooth comb by Phil Donahue himself. Hundreds of hours to distill the essence of this debate. Only Congress can declare war. And in October 2002, a good sh portion of the debate you'll see in this film, uh, this Congress did not declare war. Congress engaged in an unconstitutional act that has resulted in the deaths of more than 3,000 American soldiers, not to mention more than 20,000 severely wounded, seriously wounded, people like Thomas. These are not uh, skin knees. These are people whose lives have been altered. So here we are, um, five years after that vote, arguing about who voted for it, who didn't, why did they, what did they know, how come they didn't know, whose fault is this, should Hillary apologize. This debate is part of our film. You'll see how this president took this Congress by the ear and led it into the most grievous mistake. I don't think it's an overstatement in the history of the United States Congress. As Norman Solomon says in his book titled War Made Easy, if a president wants a war, he can have one. And George Bush proved him right. At the center of our way of life is free speech. We shouldn't use it now? You know, if we're not gonna use it, stop wasting those lives. Very proud of Body of War, which among other things, extols this radical, wild, crazy idea known as the United States Constitution. You're going to be surprised by this film. Um, there's a real powerful and not necessarily new political message embodied in this film. And so we're more than happy to invite you to, to see it. Thomas wants you to see it. We want you to see it.